And welcome back everyone to game number two here for the uh, losers match for Group K of the FX Open Invitational. Uh, I am a stable Johnny Baroque and we got Slayer's MMA up against Immunity's Yang. Ohana will be game number two. And we have down here at the bottom right hand corner our red Protoss uh, is going to be Immunity's Yang. And uh, over here we have a proxy barracks from our blue Terran. And he actually went gas first here. So this is going to be a Marauder uh, or Reaper. At it was a... Uh... Hmm? 13 racks directly into the gas, like, oh, pretty okay. much at the same time. Um, so, yeah, it's probably going to be the Marauder or the Reaper. I don't think it'll be the Reaper. You don't see that too much anymore, but it, it is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very and true. We'll just, we'll just wait and see when that tech lab finishes. Yeah, um, it's been a while since I've seen something like this come out, because usually uh, you've got a lot of... Uh, you got a lot of players really defending against this so much, and they've got it down pat. Concussive Shells mm -hmm. is on the way. Here we go. We're going to have Marauders coming up. And Yang still doesn't know exactly what's coming just yet, so he's going to have to deal with that. He needs to figure it out. There's the first Zealot. He's getting a Stalker now as well. And it's... against a very Marauder-heavy force, especially with Concussive Shells, it's difficult to get the right unit composition, like the mixture between Zealots and Stalkers, because you know yeah. that they're going to target down your Stalkers instantly. Uh, he needs to stick at the top of the ramp, but of course that SCV is going to give vision for the Marauder. Really nice move by MMA there, and I think Yang realized what's going on. He needs to back off instantly. Uh, he has spotted this barracks down here now. we got two more Marauders uh, queued up for MMA. He's also got an extra SCV coming down. And here we go. He's going to pick off that... They're probing. Look at this. He's actually going to be able to target down probes here if he wants to and uh, kite this zealot around. Remember, there's a third one coming out. And look at this. He's actually going to no run north instead of what's going on. But he's just, he can't get away. He's still going to take damage. So he might as well turn around and target down some probes. There we go. Uh, because, yeah, look at that. The Marauder is taking quite a bit of damage. He will be able to eventually clean up this one Stalker. And the second one, the second Marauder coming from behind, though, that's really nice. And now is he going to be able to save the Marauder? Yes, he will. Just barely, but here comes the second uh, Stalker now. He's going to pick off that, pick that off. I don't think he's going to have enough time to bring it out. So this will be shut down. Looking what he lost. He lost two. He killed two workers. They're both pretty much even. But MMA is now going to be behind here. Because yeah, of his I mean, there's just a good defense there by Yang pulling the probes just to buy a little bit of oh, time. Oh, there's another Marauder that popped out. I'm surprised he didn't actually cancel that. Oh, especially since he's running it through. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, seven hell. If he'd take the first shot a little bit earlier, mm. once he realized that the Marauder was just dead, if he'd started firing at that soccer a little bit early, he might have been able to trade for it. Yeah. But now that just put MMA in kind of a difficult spot. He's actually still making units out of this barracks. I'm surprised Yang he hasn't is, killed it, yeah. Yang <laughs> has just assumed that it's going to lift off, and he's made a Marine, and he's just walking home with it. There we go, he will lift off now, but... If we look back in MMA's base, he's got a command center on the way, so he is... He is banking on the fact that Yang's just not going to make a bunch of gateway units and counterattack. Mm. Well, and we'll see if he gets away with that or not. Like, there's a sentry on the way, so it looks like Yang's just going to play defensive instead of trying to contain him. I mean, a lot of times in this situation, you'll see the protest player get out a sentry or two, move the stalkers and zealots across, and just camp the bottom of the ramp just to delay the expansion. I'm really curious why he's not doing that. Yeah, well, the fact that MMA has gone straight into this double upgrades, like, he's already up 1-0 in the series, so he's allowed to take risks like that. And Yang does have his Nexus finishing up. He's going to have that robotics facility in his main. He's got three gateways. Remember, you can still do good pressure with three gateways uh, against oh, yeah. a lot of Terrans, especially if there's no bunkers at the low, round, uh, low ground. Remember, the armor supply for MMA right now is four. He's got, what, two Marines? Yeah, he's got a total of two Marines. Yang. Mm. He's playing so defensively right now. He's got three sentries hanging out at the top of his natural ramp. There's not going to be another attack coming in after that fails like that. I'm not sure why he thinks that there's going to be a follow-up attack from MMA. Um, if if there was a follow-up attack coming, it generally wouldn't be that big. Mm. I don't know. Like, I Most of the time, I would feel like it would just be way better to go and contain the opponent for a little bit. Because then it, it takes that advantage you got in the early game and just compounds it. Uh, he is still slightly ahead he's got the the immortal on the way he's got three gateways so he'll be able to make a decent number of gateway units get a few mortals out and maybe apply some pressure but like there's three bunkers so if he tries to go for that there's a chance that mma can hold it yeah that's very true and <clears throat> looking here we do see like the longer this goes on the, the further uh mma is going to actually start creeping ahead honestly because he's got the yeah. double upgrades going through uh, there's three bunkers at the top of the ramp now, so he's lost his chance to actually do any kind of pressure. Uh, he's sitting 
over here on the right hand side where Stalker's expecting some kind of drops, but they're obviously uh, nowhere to be, to be seen since the starport only just started. And it looks like the risk of going straight into the the upgrades here for MMA is going to pay off. He's got the armory on the way. He's yeah. going to be able to start 2-2 uh, pretty much instantly. He's got the three uh, supply depots at the front to stop any kind of all-in as well. So now MMA is being defensive in himself. We've got double forge coming out for Yang, as I think he's realized what's actually happened uh, here at yeah, the moment. For MMA, what happened was he was just put really far behind and either had to follow it up with some sort of an all-in mm. or he had to take some other risk. And he, he the way he decided to take a risk was just by teching really greedily, mm -hmm. uh, going expansion into double upgrades and then going rather quickly after that into starport and yang did not try to pressure his push at his advantage at all so mma got away with it and now honestly mma's ahead yeah uh, if you look at the worker count it's 39 to 48 but he's got the two mules so the incomes are pretty much even mma is a little bit ahead and now he's working on the first of the level two weapons of uh, level two upgrades second one should be coming soon once he has the gas there it is combat shields is on the way stim is already done which is going to be dangerous. A lot of people go for combat shields first. Mm -hmm. So Yang could get caught off guard by the fact that Stim is actually already done right now. He probably, he might not be expecting that, to be honest. Yeah, that's very true. I, I could have sworn he had double forge earlier, but now he's only got one and he's making another one. He must have cancelled it for some reason uh, that I missed here on camera. So we do see another observer coming out. Uh, Yang does have his observer's position nicely, so we will see any kind of aggression coming forward. Uh, he's also got stalkers, like, they've been here for quite a while, but still they're going to do their, their job here and deflect this drop that's going to come through, and it's going to get spotted by the Observer early anyway. Uh, and uh, MMA is coming down to check if there's any kind of third base. So, yeah, it's interesting, because MMA is now taking his own third. He's going to be up on bases compared to, to Yang. And... Oh, nice Marine. Mm -hmm. Actually managed to get far enough up that ramp to see the entire army of Yang. Just stemmed it up and ran, just suicided it in. And that actually got him a good amount of information. So, uh-oh, now the units are leaving and MMA hasn't come in with that drop yet. Unstable. <laughs> yeah, that's very unfortunate. Uh, we do see him gonna He's going to catch a lot of these Marines on the left-hand side. But remember, he's still... Oh, actually, so it salvaged the bunkers. That is natural. Uh, so this could work here out well for Yang. Yeah, and yeah, here it comes. So we got a drop coming through. Yeah, into the main here for Yang. His units are completely out of position. He's going to have to warp in some new ones. He's got Stim coming in. He's actually only stimmed a couple of those units. Oh, no, yes, he did. I just didn't catch the rest of it. He's going to lose a lot of S uh, probes here. He might actually lose a pylon as well, but he's going to get out. Oh, there we go. He only lost yeah. one Marine in total right there. And yeah, Yang's now taking his own third. I think it's the one Marine that he stimmed out away from the other ones just to take a look at the base. That one yeah. died, and then the other ones just went after the probes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he even turned around and got that one lonely Marine. You know, MMAs, he's a good commander. He doesn't leave his Marines behind. But now they're flying right into those Dockers, and that's not going to end well. He's going to have to leave those ones behind, because otherwise the rest of them are all going to die. And the factory's coming in, scouting the third base timing pretty perfectly. MMA is just all over the place right now, and he's... He has forced Yang to play completely defensive off of a situation where Yang should have been uh, like ahead in the early game. Like, MMA just completely turned this game around. His third base is already done in mining, so this is getting to be re really difficult for Yang. Like, 3-3 yep. three, three upgrades started for MMA, and 2-2 two, two are only not even half done yet for mm -hmm. him. At the same time, his army supply is getting quite large. There is no zealot speed. There's no uh, any kind of area of it. Uh, of effect damage here coming in. Oh, nice, nice link uh, and getting away from while sniping that medivac. But like I was saying, the bio force here for MMA is getting very strong. He's up on the upgrades. There's no splash damage to really deal with it at all. He's going to try and get another one. Does blink away yet again, but I don't think MMA can really go into this. He is still down on army supply, remember. He's by, uh, only by a little bit. However, his, half of his army is across the other side of the map where Yang's all in the one position. There's this a lot of zealots has actually been seeing a large portion of MMA's army as it comes across. He's got a pretty good amount of scouting information just because this one observer has just been chilling in that spot the entire game. Yeah. Now, he is going to move it around, but uh, he's aware of the fact that there's a large amount of units coming across the map. He might want to move this half group of units down on the low ground. There's a decent chance it could get trapped away from the rest of it if they stay there. He knows his army is here for MMA. He is continuing to split up his army. These rocks are not down. He is voluntarily splitting his army right now on the table. Well, if he comes down, there we go. He's going to get a flank uh, on the army here. But however, uh, Storm is not done. And here we go. Nice cutting by here by MMA. The Templars were at the front. They just got instantly got picked off. No feedbacks went down on those medivacs. 
and it just where the upgrades are just shredding through this entire army. It's like it's not even fair how much uh, they're going. And there was no force fields either. The, the sentries weren't even in the army. So GG coming out. MMA will move into the final match here for Group K. He will be up against Love CD uh, after taking a very swift 2-0 there. So we'll be right back with MMA versus Love CD. Stay with us.